All right. So, uh, okay, okay. The first, second chapter is the adherence. First section, type of non-adherence. Uh, and the reasons why people don't adhere. I'm the type scully and one of the reasons scully. Now we come on to the second reason of why people will not adhere. And the second reason is not the rational choice theory, right? The second reason is the health belief model. And this is the third uh, theory within the uh, this section, first section of health psychology, right? So this is section So health belief model is given by Becker and Rosenstock, right? Health belief model care. Uh, belief. This is very important, right? So, health belief model has certain beliefs that is you are there. So, what you believe in, right, will impact whether you adhere or don't adhere. And what you believe in, in several type of beliefs, okay, right? Take care. Uh, these beliefs are known as this one perceived susceptibility or vulnerability, right? As in, what is your belief about yourself? Do you believe that you're more likely to get a disease or not to get a disease? For example, let's talk about coronavirus. Coronavirus can be how to not do frontline workers. So, if you're a front, front, uh, frontline worker, your perceived susceptibility would be high, as in, you will feel that you are more likely to get a disease. So, that's perceived severity. Is a bit different. What is your belief about the severity? Do you feel the coronavirus is severe? Hai ya? Tum halka le do you take it seriously or do you take it lightly? So whatever you do, for example, well, how you how however take it seriously, lightly, that's your perceived severity. Self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is that do you have any control over what happens to you during the disease as in, or getting the disease? And basically, getting healthy is not in your control. For example, let's talk about cancer. Cancer can be right chemotherapy or the right, but once you get the disease, uh, you can't do anything about it. Basically, ski uh, cure you know, the treatment or that, right? You kind of manage the symptoms, you don't make it go away 100 percent I guess which cancer uh, st uh, states of cancer can be. Uh coronavirus can be, are there something that you can do on your own apart from the doctor's help? Yes, isolation versus the number one. Yes, you can do sanitizers and masks. Yes, you can do certain medicines. Uh, right? So I don't know. Yes, you can keep yourself hydrated. So is there anything you can do to make yourself better after you get the disease is self-efficacy. So there are certain, so you might feel, you might take any disease into consideration and you might relate yourself on these three beliefs. So first is the belief how you what you what is your belief about that disease second is the influencing factors right now these are not talking about your beliefs these are talking about other factors that can change your behavior for example cues to action to make out that uh any informational materials any factor in your surrounding that influences your belief from the outside. For example, you might have a relative who got coronavirus. You didn't th think it was serious. Now, a relative who you have, you know, like he died of coronavirus. So, like that could be a cue to action, as in some external factor influencing your, your belief now, right? Going to my YouTube video, like you, your research party, right? Whatever. That could be uh, okay, external fake external factors to influence your behavior, and sometimes. You yourself getting ill might be a factor that changes your belief about coronavirus. For example, you got ill because of an external virus and you getting ill changes your belief. So basically, uh, these core beliefs and these can be changed by Q2 actions, right? Modifying variables is the thing you look at demographic information get me that. Right. For example, if uh, do you, are you rich? Are you pure, poor? What's your race? What's your religion? Right. What's your values? Who you live with? What's your gender? How old are you? These are demographic variables, and these demographic variables can subset to your initial core beliefs. You know, I love For example, if you're a person who um lives in an educated family, yes, Family member only can say chat, different compared to if you were brought up in a, in a lit, 
in an illiterate family, right? So modifying uh, factors are demographic variables which influence your core belief. Cues to action changes your core belief, right? Perceived threat of is Perceived threat, okay. 